Straight out of a science fiction story, giant arrows sitting in the middle of the desert in Utah. Adding to the intrigue, the oversized arrows point to other arrows. So where does the path lead and what is it for exactly? Led Egan has the answers for us from Southern Utah. Some of them are hard to see, others are real obvious. In the hills above St. George, you may stumble across one of these, an old but massive concrete arrow. It's on the side of a hill, and I was out flying around. Airline pilot Patrick Carroll remembers the first time he saw one from the sky. And I'm looking like, who is the weirdo that put an arrow? It didn't take long to realize the giant turn signals were for navigating, but who built the arrow pathway? For the answer, we go back to 1918, when President Woodrow Wilson sent a letter by plane, launching the United States airmail system. Sending letters by plane was speedy, much better than waiting weeks for a train to cross the country. But there was a big problem. The pilots kept getting lost. There was no fancy navigation, no radar, no GPS. These guys just looked out the window and had to figure out where they're going. Unlike today, rain, snow and sleet, and especially the darkness of night, brought the postal planes to a screeching and sometimes deadly halt. Their life expectancy was extremely short. To solve the problem, in the 1920s, America built the first ground-based civilian navigation system in the world, installing gigantic concrete arrows every 10 miles. Up around 700 all nationwide. And the main ones, of course, went from San Francisco to New York. Pilot and flight instructor Daniel Smith says the brightly yellow painted arrows were just one part of the system. It actually was the forerunner of the radio navigation aids. Look closely and you can see remnants of a generator shack and the steel towers that used to rise above the arrows and hold a rotating beacon guiding pilots at night. Best we could do at the time and it was a lot of engineering at the time. Even though following a yellow arrowed road across the country seems simple. You see this photo here of me? World War II flight search and Creed Evans hopes we don't forget. It was extremely dangerous. He's worked to install this monument near one of the arrows to remember the brave pioneer pilots who put it all on the line just to deliver letters mailed with 10 cent stamps. They were beautiful pilots, those guys. And some of them were killed. Reporting in Southern Utah, Lad Egan, 2 News. That's so interesting. And two of the arrow paths cross Utah, one from Salt Lake to San Francisco and the other from Salt Lake to Los Angeles. If you'd like to try to go see one of these arrows or hike to them, we're going to put some GPS coordinates on our website, KUTV.com. It's a kind of a living history lesson when you go see those yeah. things. And, uh, and the efforts they went to to get us our mail. Yeah. Not us. We weren't around back then. Oh, I was. Them. I was. But you, <laughs> you, I yeah. used to get my mail all the time that way. Um,